I have some big news before we get to our space game list. I have some big news. I went to this uh, this gardening workshop uh, this past weekend. It's all about laying sod, and it was kind of a quick kind of a quick thing, but we covered a lot of ground. Okay, enough of that. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, about upcoming space games. And uh, it's like, actually kind of a hard thing to find because when you go look at space games on Steam, you end up with sci-fi games. You end up with just some dude in a spacesuit walking around on a planet. That's not a space game. So I found some space games. My list was originally, I thought it was going to be a small list. It grew. Um, I, I have I've got quite a bit of, I found quite a few of these space games. So these are games that are like in space. You, you have a spaceship flying around. You work on a spaceship. You move spaceships, or you know that's that's the setting here, or in space at some point. So, we're gonna talk about upcoming space games. Thirty something of these that I've got here, and let's roll through it, and we'll see what we can find. First one I have um, playing right now is Breachway. This is a a deck building sci-fi roguelike. Um, when I play this one, I play the demo. Of this one. This is by Edgeflow Studio and published by Hooded Horse, and. Turn-based, you know, it almost has a feeling like... Well, that wasn't much of a video, was it? Oh, it played over. <laughs> Let me play you the video. There you go, now you can see the game. Um, so, okay, it has a little bit of that, that, F, that FTL feeling to it, to where you're, like, um, bouncing from point to point, and then whenever you're, you're throwing out your cards, you're, like, targeting certain systems. Um, but yeah, de deck building, sci-fi, roguelike, ship upgrades, crew management are key to your survival. And um, it's all turn-based. Seeking out the signal is is the ultimate thing here. There is a demo on Steam at the moment. It comes out here July of this year. And um, but you can pick up the demo there over on Steam. You'll, you're gonna hear that name, Hooded Horse, like with my other ones that I have, the other um, the other uh, upcoming videos that I have done here on the channel. You're gonna hear the name Hooded Horse a lot. They seem to be around a lot, um, and especially with space games. But there you go. The first one is Breachway. Next, we'll talk about Falling Frontier. So this one is a RTS sci-fi where... You know, one thing about this RTS that I think stands out before we talk about what the game is. I've played the uh, the demo of this one. It, it's not just Command and Conquer in space. It, it does a really good job of making you feel like you're flying a fleet of spaceships in this RTS, and you're you're, you're commanding a fleet of, of starships. This is by Starter Fox Studios, published by Hooded Horse. Conquer a vast, procedurally generated star system in Falling Frontier. Um, you can design, design your ships, uh, lay minefields, and and, it, and it, it it does a good job with that sort of like submarine space combat thing. Uh, this one is coming out soon. Again. Usually hooded horse again, and a um, yeah, it's all RTS just with a heavy space feel. It only has one develop. Does this only have one developer? I don't know. It might be. I know what you're talking about. I don't remember if it was this one or not. I don't see any mention of it on the Steam page here. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that one, which is. Um, Coming out sometime, sometime soon. We have no date for that one. Okay, so the next one, I um, you, you may have heard of this one before. And that's Homeworld 3. This is by Blackbird Interactive and published by Gearbox, Gearbox Publishing. Comes out May 13th. I normally cover indie games. This, this is big time. Um, RTS, sci-fi, if you haven't played Homeworld. The original Homeworld came out in 1999. And it's a sort of a 3D RTS. So rather than being on a plane, you know, you're actually like flying your ships around. Uh, I won't mention too much about this one because you've probably heard about Homeworld 3, but just in case you haven't, uh, it comes out May 13th here in, um, well, pretty soon. And it's just, it's heavy on the, uh, heavy on the RTS as well, and fully 3D space. And also has a, a big story with it. I don't know the Homeworld story. I think I played a little bit of home, the first Homeworld, but I never played two. I apologize. I'm, I'm out of the Homeworld loop. But I know the this is this is a pretty um, well known one, and you can get an idea what the gameplay is like right there. I'll let it play a little more as we check this out. Um, hulking space derelicts called megaliths bring 3D terrain into the classic homeworld battlescape, battle space. 
Anyway. Next is one that I've played. Cellar Wanderer. DX. Uh, is by Dream Builder Studios and published by Leoful. This is, is a space sim. Old school space combat sim. It's set in a vast open world universe. Uh, and so, you know, old, old timey. Like a uh, freelancer or XCOM. You know, or not XCOM. X-Wing. Uh, those types of... Fly around in your spaceship. I think this one has like a like a third. Oh, I guess you can sit in your cockpit and fly. Um, yeah, old timey space combat. Fly around, shoot things. Open world. Coming out. We don't know. Sometime this year. There is a demo over on Steam for this one as well. I have played it. I got a video out there for this one. Um, yeah, old school sci-fi. Fly around, shoot things. Next up. Old Hooded Horse. Capital Command. This one, by Hellride Games and published by Hooded Horse, is coming out sometime this year. There is a demo out there uh, over here on Steam. Uh, I, have, I have played this one also. Uh, this one, of course, this one focuses, uh, hence the name, focuses on the capital ships. And this one almost feels like it also does a good job of, of that sort of submarine space combat in, in a very, yeah, realistic um, feel to it, to where it's not a uh, fly around pew pew kind of thing. It's a it's a click the right button at the right time and and allocate targets. You know that kind of stuff. Um, almost like an like an expanse feel to it. And um, again, I'm not sure when it's coming out, but sometimes this year. And um, if you if you're into that that like more realistic like space combat or like an expanse style space combat this one i think does that really well from the demo that i've played and more of a like a um like a star trek versus a star wars kind of kind of combat all right next up we're going to earthless this one is a is a uh, uh like a a deck building again uh cards sci-fi you're gonna you're gonna play out on a, like a grid and you're on a plane. This is by Blackbird Interactive, who's publishing and developing this one. Uh, it is uh, coming out soon, this sometime this year. There's a demo out right now. It'll be in early access. Um, and rather than commanding your fleet, you, you'll hire your your um, your officers and whatever, and assign them to your ship. And with them, they will give you additional cards that you will use in your turn-based space combat um, deck building style. Again, the demo that I've played, I have, a, I have a video for that one as well. It's out there, and you can check it out here on Steam. Um, but in similar to, like, um, not not real similar to Breachway, but in that same sort of deck-building, turn-based feel to it. Next is Alliance of the Sacred Sons. Sci-fi grand strategy. This is probably best described as Crusader Kings in space. Where, I mean, grand strategy in space. You've got a, you've got a, the whole system, and you are trying to command your entire empire. You're not just running one planet or whatever. Um, this is by Cathawk Studios and published by who else? Hooded Horse. Turn-based strategy, sci-fi, 4X. Um, another uh, Explorminate says it's Crusader Kings meets a Master of Orion. Space. Crusader Kings in space. Um, They've had a demo for this one before. I've, I've played this one before, but the demo is not there at the moment. It comes out sometime this year. And, um... Praise on Tinti, indeed. And, um... You, uh, just command your, uh, your empire. So, sort of more of a leading from the throne, really, uh, feeling than anything else. Star Miner. You're building an interstellar mining fleet with this one. Nope. Oh. Play my video. There we go. This is by uh, Good or uh, Cool and Good Games, and published by Pop Paradox Arc. Um, and you're building a mining fleet and going out and mining. However, however, there is mention here on the Steam page that survive the aliens. So apparently, you go out, you set up your mining fleet, you get cash, you go out, build your ship up, and once uh, the, the greedier you get, the higher your heat signature becomes. Once it reaches critical levels, the aliens will detect you. Defend your fleet at all costs using defense systems and ships of your design. So it ends up becoming build a, a station and defend it. 
seems to be that way. Um, coming out sometime this year, 2024. And there is not a demo for this one. Not always them, them aliens. Always them aliens. Just out there trying to make a quick, quick buck. Okay. You thought I'd, I'd said the last of Hooded Horse, but you were wrong. Fragile Existence. I think I might have mentioned this one in my what, my last one I talked about. But anyway, this is by Fragile Continuum, published by Hooded Horse. And this is an RTS, and it's set like both, both on planet and in space. So like you're going to be going from planet to planet, commanding ships around on the planet, but you're also commanding ships in space on this thing. Comes out sometime here in 2024. Um... In uh, um, and there is no there is no demo uh, out there for this one, but you can be commanding your fleets from planet to planet across systems, and that thing. Yeah, yeah, it's it's hooded horse day for sure, definitely. There you go. That kind of shows you there. So you're you're gonna take your ships from planet to planet, lay down your um your colonies down below. I think. I'm sorry. I play a lot of different games. I'm pretty sure I have played this one before it was actually published by Hooded Horse. A long time ago, they had like a really early alpha build of this thing, and um, I think it was just it was just the place the base building part of it without getting the ships out there. Um, but neat idea. Um, I'm looking forward to it. We'll see, we'll see if it uh, plays out like uh, like I hope. All right, under space is up next. Uh, this one comes out real soon, uh, April 10th. This one is out. It is a a spiritual successor to Freelancer with a Lovecraftian sandbox RPG twist. Um, yeah, space sim. Fly your spaceship through space. Do whatever you want to do by Pasta Space Interactive and published by Camlin Games. Comes out April 10th and it will be in early access. Um, if you like the old like old timey uh, open world space dogfighting, that's what this one that's that's what this one is. Uh, you start out on like a space station and you can hop into your ship and fly about and um, really do whatever but there is a there is a story here that's kind of like trying to push you along an eldritch eldritch feeling story but yeah freelancer if you're in the freelancer then this will be that'll be your thing okay I, I've talked before a bit about wanting I want a game I want to I want to live I want to I want to live on the Enterprise. And I think this one might be the closest thing that we have for it. This is Starship Simulator. We're going to come in there. We're going to explore scientifically and a scientifically accurate Milky Way galaxy. Discover uncharted worlds. Having unrestricted access to every deck of, deck of your Magellan-class deep space exploration vehicle. So we are like... We serve as a crew member aboard this exploration vessel. And our mission is to go out and explore the galaxy. Um... This one, there is a demo for this one. I need to play this one because I didn't realize there was a demo for it. Uh, coming out, who knows? It comes out to be announced by Fleet Yard Studios. And um, our job is to go out and just be one of, the, I think, just be one of the crew and explore. Fully explorable. explorable. Players are free to explore the, the entirety of the ship's seven decks on foot without any barriers or loading screens. All traveling between stars at speeds at excess of 570 light years per hour. They could have put any number there and it would have been okay. <laughs> Going really fast. <laughs> um, oh, okay, there we go. So we can we choose one. We choose to occupy one of a number of different roles on the ship. Captain, pilot, science, officer, tactical, engineering, doctor, morale officer, or passenger. Morale officer. Oh, like the bartender. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm going to play that tomorrow. I, I, I got to see one. We'll check that demo out tomorrow. Okay, so uh, maybe you, you've had enough being a bartender. And your real passion is trucks. You want to haul cargo, trade salvage, and keep your spacesuit close as you search for fame and fortune among the stars? Well... Star Trucker is here. Hop into the driver's seat of your rocket-powered big rig as you haul cargo, scavenge for salvage, and interact with an eclectic cast of star-hopping truckers in this Americana-infused journey of the open road. Space. There you go. Space Trucker. It's always kind of a joke whenever uh, playing like um, 
uh, Star Sector, and I'm playing this space trucking game. Well, you can, if you really like it, you can go all in on space trucking. This is by Monster and Monster, published by Raw Fury. There is a demo out. Uh, I've seen some other streamers and YouTubers playing this one. Uh, it comes out this year, 2024. There we go. Automobile Sim. The, thing, the, the issue with, with Steam and trying to find good space games on Steam, because they always, like, they'll say sci-fi, but they're not really sci-fi. Or they're not, they'll say space, but they're not space, they're sci-fi. And it's because there's not really a good tag for space. We're not, not well used. Anyway, anyway. Hunter Net Starfighter is the next one here. Uh, this is a massively multiplayer Starfighter sim. By CPU Dreams, coming soon. And I guess there's going to be a VR mode for this as well, if that's, if that's your thing. But our job is to go pilot Starfighters in simulated cockpits and advanced hardware. Fly around, close quarter maneuvering fights, dog fights, you know. All in a online massively multiplayer way coming soon massively multiplayer flight uh, space sim this is a 12 minute video wow we won't sit here for 12 minutes and look at it we got the idea so let's say you're a fan of XCOM but you think you know what I wish I could play XCOM but in space this is the darkest star Stephen Morehouse is making this one, published by Stellar Kinetics. There's a demo for this one. Uh, you're on this this plane, space plane, uh, with a fleet of ships, and you're playing space XCOM. Uh, you're a turn-based tactical style of thing. Um, it seems like pretty varied, uh, like different types of um, armament and several different styles of, of ships. So it adds a nice variety of, um, of ships to, to spice it up a bit. Um, I played a bit of the demo of this one, and uh, I, if, if you're familiar with XCOM, Space XCOM, I think is probably the best way of, of, uh, of describing this one. Comes out uh, soon. There is a demo available right now. Next up is Hell Galaxy. Hell Galaxy is the only game where you can experience the fusion of space battles, eerie specters, and daunting titans. Uh, by Italian Games Factory, coming out soon. There is a demo available for this one. Uh, you're going to go in there, you're going to build your spaceship up, you're going to go and uh, engage in dynamic mining. I don't know what that is, but I'm interested. Um, and also there's, a, there's an RPG-influenced cosmos. A a CRPG is one of the tags here. I'm kind of I'm intrigued by it by the um, by what they're throwing out as what it is like. It looks like one thing, but it doesn't look like like what they're saying in the Steam page doesn't look like what it sounds like in. We you know what I'm saying. That video that's playing right now it doesn't look like what I'm reading here. Um, so I'm very curious by it. A balanced mixture of high speed space action and realistic flight dynamics. That sounds like that. Um, with uh, stunning visuals, amplify immersion in the game's cosmic horror-tinged environment. It does look. It does look good. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm looking forward to this one. I, I. There's a demo for this one. I haven't played it yet, so we should. I should do that. There you go. This one, uh, the freelancer one was um, was under space. Yeah, real soon. All right, Star Boost is up next. This is racing, sci-fi racing by Boldhead Studio. Coming out soon. There's a demo uh, as we speak right now. And, you know, it's... I'd, I'd give you more, more of a description of this one, but... Boost, strafe, survive. Test your reaction speed in this action-packed sci-fi racing game with cinematic scenery. There you go. Space racing. Now this is pod racing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't control myself. I'll, I'll try to stop. Space Arc is up next. This is by Ball Studio. Uh, this, this is um, arcade mode. Arcade style. Space. All varieties of, of space out there. We can go with space, space racing. You can play some advanced asteroids. Destroy your friends in epic spaceship battles and steal their points in order to enhance and personalize your own ship. Once you return to base, there is a play test available for this one. I clicked the button and I got right into it, so maybe easy. I don't know how how that works, but you may be able to get into this one and try it out. Um, 
free solo and multiplayer demo is coming soon. But um, customize your ship. Go out and play some some um, asteroids with extra flaky lights. Blow some things up. It says there's a story mode as well. Your journey will be difficult. Are you going to be the savior or a coward? Okay. That video is over. Okay. Let's go reality break. This one is coming out quarter three of this year by uh, Element Games. There is a demo. And rewrite the universe. This is an action RPG. You know, Diablo in space, whatever you, whatever, however you want to think of it. Action RPG in space, um, fast-paced, uh, you know, you shoot a lot of things, upgrade your ship, rinse and repeat. However, I've played a few of these, and they, they never have a story. They, you just go in, you, you blow things up, and you, you, you go to bed happy. But um, this one says, um, throughout your journey, you'll discover how exactly you obtain the power to change reality. What the purpose of this power is. Who benefits from this power? Almost feels like there's like a there's actually a story here, and like there's actually like how just how far are you willing to go to make your reality your own? So um, it seems like and you'll play through multiple timelines. It's like they've got like a story here with this one. I'm intrigued. Yeah, this is the, the videos on the Steam page I'm playing. Yeah, um, yeah, blasting with stories. Next up. I couldn't, um, I couldn't do a space game list without a colony builder. And so, Generation Ship is that by Cyfan Studios. It's coming out this year, 2024. We are building a, um, a space station. And this, it, it, you know, it says Colony Sim City Builder. It, I, from reading through and kind of looking at some things, it feels like there's a little bit of a automation aspect to it as well. Um, in the advanced ex expanse of space, every inch counts. Efficient organization and automation are crucial to maximize your ship's potential. So it seems like it's going like uh, big time, like big time space station kind of things. And um, again, not no demo for this one, but it's coming out this year. We got Remnant Protocol next. We're back. We're back in the uh, in the flying our spaceships around here. This is by Progenitor Game Studios coming out this year. No demo, but it is on here on Steam. The assassination of the Blessed Mother has plunged the galaxy into darkness. This is Star Wars. Um, it's a flight sim with a strate strategy labor that puts you in command of a, of the of a galactic rebellion, not the galactic rebellion, a galactic rebellion. It's X-wing. You're gonna fly around in a spaceship. You're the rebels. The the uh, the Empire's coming after you. From your sanctuary, your hidden rebel base in the outer territories, wage a guerrilla war against the Usurpers, who rule with oppressive authority over the galaxy. Yeah, it it's, looks like X-Wing to me, uh, which is great. I'm, I'm all for it. A new X-Wing? Sign me up. But yeah, go out, blow up um, Varth Dater, and, and... Next. All right, let's get weird. Whisker Squadron, untitled space game. This is the this is the second Whisker Squadron game by Flip Fly, uh, coming out in twenty twenty five. We got a little ways for this one, so it's an open world, open space sim like that. You know, fly around, shoot things with your uh, with your spaceship, captained by a cat. Um. Uh. <laughs> So the 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 previous one, I'm trying to think of what to, what to say about this one. <laughs> just look at it. Um, the original one of this, and I think this is just sort of building onto that original game, which was called Whisker Squadron Survivor, uh, is a a a roguelite on rails shooter. The 30 minute runs takes your feline flight crew to thrilling new heights. That's the original one, and then this one goes open, uh, free flying, and uh, you're gonna hire a whole bunch of cats. In almost like a Star Fox look to it. Not look, but Star Fox, like not, not the visual style, but well, actually even that. Um, choose your pilot from a cast of five feline heroes. Oh, that's fantastic. Coming out uh, next year. Okay. 
Let's go from cats flying spaceships. We're going to go to uh, a little more realistic. This is explore the, store, the solar system. Mine and drop asteroids, colonize and terraform by Jutsu Games and published by Games Operators. This is a little more on the um, like realistic side. Simulation sandbox style physics, you know. Um, it is it is 21st century, you know. It's You're, you're a company going out and colonizing, um, exploring, f finding uh, life and... It says build, colonize, and terraform. Conquer solar system. So it seems like it's going all in. Um, conquer solar systems. I think that's what it's supposed to say. Oh, no. Go go beyond with your colony ships. Explore real generated systems. Real and generated systems. Centauri, Trappist. Neat. Okay. We're almost there. Astromedica is next. There's a lot of... There's a lot of... These... Uh, this is a this is a survival um, space sim. You're you're a dude walking around building a base, you know, with your hand tool, whatever. Um, there's a lot of these, and the, the the thing is, there's a lot of them that say they are space games, but they're not really space games. You're just some guy walking around on a planet, happens to have a spacesuit on. This one actually seems like you are actually in space. This is by Barry and Mary and published by Rock Game. Um, it's all about. It's a fun game about surviving in space, says the Steam page. Nothing, no demo out yet. It's coming out soon. There is a playtest available. Um, I can't get into it. But, um, immerse yourself in the vastness of space. The unknown will be your playground and your battlefield. So, yeah. Establish your own space base equipped with habitats, airlocks, observation centers. So, go out, build yourself a, um, um, yeah, like Subnautica, but in space. Breath Edge had kind of a similar idea, but it was a little more. That was a little more story story driven. Coming out soon. We don't know when. Uh, next, we got Lunar Lander Beyond. This is by Dreams Incorporated and published by Atari. There is a demo for this one. Comes out April twenty third, and we're gonna guide a roster of colorful pilots, eclectic advisors, and state of the art landers through a taxing series of missions. This is more of like a like a mission focused, um, uh, or like a campaign series of of missions type thing where um, in this sort of 2D setting you're going to fly your ship around arcade style um, and it is what did I say coming out April 23rd and there's a demo for this one countless pilot options procedurally generated characters and attributes there you go there you go there it is the tackle 30 missions across 5 moons and planets Yeah, almost. This is going to be one of those ways. It feels like you're uh, playing a cartoon. That's good. That's a good, good trailer. Okay. Next up is Star Zeal 4X. Uh, Star Zeal is a space-based 4X strategy and RPG hybrid by Aku Digital Entertainment. Uh, there is no date on this one; just coming soon uh, if for early access. And um, the, I'm trying to read through here and see what I can't. It's hard to see, hard to figure out what's different about this one versus a Space 4X game, other than what what that shows. But I think that sums it up. I think pretty well. Um, explore the galaxy. Even as a spacefaring empire, you'll be part of a. You'll be a small part of an immense game world, churning or moving along with or without you. Oh, no, no. I remember. Okay, sorry. I read through these and I, I forgot. This one, I, I do remember the thing about this one. I'm sorry. Um, unlike con conventional 4X strategy games, there's no conquest meta, meta in Star Zeal. You are free to roleplay your faction. Factions have their own issues, ideologies, and motivations to deal with. So, like, I'm not sure how it's going to play out. It sounds neat. Like, we're playing a 4X game, but our, our goal is not to conquer the world it's, or conquer space. It's just to play the game. Um, I mean, I'm interested to see how this one, how this one turns out. Yeah, three X. That's right. That's right. All, <laughs> all of them except for the exterminate one. <laughs> anyway, there's Star Zeal, uh, coming up soon. We don't have a date for that one. Seems like it's a kind of a, a, a mixture of a lot of, a lot of things in that, that, um, um, no win condition, uh, if that's what it is, is is interesting. Uh, Mars Horizon 2, this one doesn't have a video, so it's just going to play through here. Uh, Search for Life. 
Lead your space agency, similar to the one before um, Solar Expanse. Sort of similar to that one, uh, where on that one you're going and colonizing terraforming. This one, you are putting landers on Mars or whatever and going out and you're trying to find life. By Auric Digital and published by Secret Mode. Release date to be announced. And um, yeah, this is definitely a, uh, a heavy dose on the realism on this one. Following from Mars Horizon. Design rockets, specialized payloads, make sure you get the right stuff for your landings, that kind of thing. Um, coming out to be announced. Is this not a video either? It'll be on this one. Uh, this one is um, Space Log by Produno Game Studios. Um, if you remember, I know there's a lot of folks that uh, follow my YouTube channel or first found me on YouTube from a game called Starship Theory. And this one appears to be taking that mantle and, and, and running with it. Sort of a blending of RimWorld and uh, a little bit of FTL. Um, this is uh, Dwarf Fortress and, and XCOM are also inspirations. Where you're going to build yourself a ship. You, you, you build your ship first off and then you fly from, from out into space wherever. Um, and other ships are going to come along the, the way and try to blast you. But as you're, as you're blasting them, you're building onto your ship. Build your ship, manage your crew, explore the cosmos. And um, we don't know what's coming out. Sometime sometime to be announced for early access. Um, the um, the dev of this one's been um, following and, uh, and actually supporting my channel for a long time. Thank you, Perduno. Um, but uh, I, I, I really liked Starship Theory. I'm kind of bummed that it, that it is no longer being developed. And so I'm looking forward to this one. Um, next up, let's go to Final Factory. So this is Factorio in space. Build a build a factory in space by Never Games Limited. It is coming out in early access on April 9th. That's pretty soon. Um, build fa uh, factory. It, it's a it's a blending of factory building, spaceship design, and a rich universe to explore. Build a mega factory. Discover new texts and unlock secrets of an ancient civilization. So yeah, it's a it, it's a space factory, building a factory in space. Uh, well, yeah, building a factory on space because <laughs> it's all yeah. Uh, and it looks like uh, this show that yeah, combat and stuff in there too. Almost has like a look like a cosmeteer kind of look to the combat. I'm intrigued by. Command a great fleet, defend your factory, and expand. I played a little bit of a demo of this one, and uh, the demo was good. So, I'm looking forward to that one. That's flashy over there. Alright. Galactic Glitch. This is an action roguelike and shooter. This is kind of space. This is this is this is on the on the um the uh, the edge of space. Crunchy Leaf Games is making this one. There is a demo for uh, for this one as well. Um This one's just a lot of fun. You're building a spaceship and you gotta like you gotta like catch missiles, catch asteroids, and like throw them around. It's, it's all arcade, full on arcade. Comes out June 2024. Um, Wonderbot says slinging asteroids has never felt any better. Yeah, yeah, that sums it up pretty good. It's not a game that I would normally, probably normally play, but I played the demo of this one and it's great. It's just picking up rocks and throwing them around. It's good stuff. Um, sorry, I'm not trying to like review things here. I'm just trying to tell you what it is, but action roguelike, shooter, that kind of thing. Bouncing things off of walls. Coming out of June. Next up, we have... This is this is almost the last one. The last two are kind of a side thing. So, Dread Pilots. Space survival game. You explore a mysterious and hostile pocket universe. Also kind of on the side, because we're not really in space. We're in a pocket universe. By Clay Entertainment. This is the folks that made Don't Starve. Uh, coming out 2024, no demo yet, anyway. And we are an inf you are a dread pilot, an unfortunate soul trapped in a dangerous and uncaring purgatory. Only your wits in it to aid you. So top down, you know, like a 2D space. Um, fix your ship up, hire I think interesting interesting characters, crew, uh, and sort of stop from dock to dock and and trying to make your way through this this story. Buddy up with powerful factions from the chemically cheerful trading guild to the rock-worshipping xenoliths. 
Each pilot you meet remembers what you've done, and they aren't shy about holding a grudge. Nice. Yeah, narrative space game. Meow. Yep. Look at the art on that one. That's good stuff. Almost uh, reminds me of like a like a like a fallen London kind of a feel. Maybe not quite as story heavy, but that's what's coming to mind with that one. Uh, Star Exodus by Battle Stars and Games Operators coming out soon. Wander through endless space where you have to fight for resources, manage them, and take care of your crew. It takes you on a journey through barren space, put your survival skills to the test. Um, open world RTS is one of the tags here. Single player real time strategy game defined by exploration and the player's choices. Sort of a wander around, try to try to stay alive with your with your fleet. Space game. In endless, uh, even in, in in endless galaxy, you often encounter various alien species. Usually, not not always means hostile. Protect the crew. Two, the last two, kind of kind of are a, a combo. So we've got this one's in a video, is it? We have both Space Station Multiverse and Space Station 14. These are both like what's the word forks of of um, Space Station 13, and they are uh, they're coming to yeah yeah Sun the Skies. They're they're both coming to Steam at some point. Neither neither of them have announced dates. Uh, Space Station 14 has a playtest uh, out there you can try out. Um, they're just basically put together by different people that are taking... Because, okay, I should start with Space Station 13. Space Station 13, open source, weirdest game you'll ever play. You're living on a space station, multiplayer, uh, and you just do your job. O occasionally someone's going to try, someone's going to turn on you and try to murder you. You do your best to not get murdered, or you do the murdering, um, among other things. Crazy game, fantastic. Uh, and, and there's a couple of other... Which you can play for free. Go on to the... Was it SS13 or whatever dot org something, um, and this these are both forks of Space Station 13. And if you ask anyone about Space Station 13, they will tell you they love it, but it's a strange one. And so if you're familiar with with it, then then you're familiar with these. But the, uh, there, I, I wasn't familiar with them coming over to Steam, but there's two of them now uh, coming over here, and there's a list of like differences in there. Oh hey, there's there's that even. Of what these what these two what these two are doing. These are these are multiplayer, yeah, multiplayer only. I'm sure that I have forgotten some because when I started doing this list, I thought you know oh, just a few space games this won't take too long, and I kept finding them. And I had to like, I had to search all these individual categories trying to find these things, and I was like, oh yeah, I remember that one. I just added in so so slowly but surely it, the list grew very big. Um, if you know of some space games that I forgot. And if you do it here live, you can tell me now. Uh, if, on YouTube, leave it in the comments, and then um, I'll, we'll make sure and, and, hi and highlight those so we can make sure we get all these space games um, assorted. Because it's hard to find space, because you click space over here on Steam. Um, well, see? This is clearly a space game, but there's no space. Why is space not a tag? Point. Thank you for proving my point. There we go. Space. And what do you have in space? Oh, a bunch of games that aren't in space, and they're just on a planet. So there you go. Anyway, there is my list of space games. <laughs> 